Hey YouTube, let's talk about vasodilators today. What they do, how they work, and why do we even want to take one? So a vasodilator is something that was originally used medically, but we've now started to see in the supplement world for the exact same benefits that we uh, use it in the medical world. So how vasodilation works in the body is when your blood vessels contract and vasopress, or vasoconstrict, sorry, um, your heart rate will drop in compensation, right? This is one of the, the homeostatic body mechanics that we have. But when, the, when you vasodilate, your heart rate will have to skyrocket to compensate for the low blood pressure in order to continue to perfuse your body normally. So the idea is we take a, blood pre uh, uh, we take a vasodilator, which causes our blood pressure to drop, and then your heart starts to race in compensation. So now you've got nice big juicy blood vessels that are allowing uh, easy blood flow to your muscles and your heart rate is increased to compensate, so now the blood is flowing a lot faster, all right? Stack on top of that that you're probably taking something with caffeine that's gonna cause your heart to race e uh, a lot more, and now you've got a combination for getting blood to your vessels, fa or blood to your muscles faster, clearing out that lactic acid and getting nutrients to it. So it's kind of like a win-win product. So vasodilators work basically by just dilating the blood vessels and ruining your body's homeostasis in a positive way and then causing your body to compensate, all right? So the two main products that you'll see uh, causing vasodilation is L-arginine and agmatine sulfate. Uh, L-arginine is the original, um, it's tried and tested and true. Uh, products like Monster Pump, uh, which I've used before to, to good effect, have uh, L-arginine as their main ingredient. And the new one that you're seeing on the market is agmatine sulfate. Um, I use uh, ANS Dilate. Uh, I got a bottle of it right here. Boom! Just so I do actually use it, I'm not just lying. Um, and it uses agmatine sulfate. Now, agmatine sulfate is a derivative of the same way that they create L-arginine. So they're similar products, however, there is some research to show that agmatine sulfate is more potent of a vasodilator than uh, L-arginine. So do we shun all products with L-arginine for agmatine sulfate? No, we don't. Um, L-arginine will still do the same job as agmatine sulfate, maybe a little bit less potent, but that's not always a bad thing, depending on, well, your blood pressure, how heavy your workouts are, et cetera, et cetera. So agmatine sulfate, a little bit more potent, sure. All right, but it doesn't mean L-arginine products aren't useful as well. All right, so keep that in mind when you're seeing both. You don't have to shun one product because it doesn't have a special ingredient. So that's it guys, uh, that is what a vasodilator does, why we use them, um, and the two different kinds of main ingredients to look for, L-arginine and agmatine sulfate. That's it guys, uh, as always, eat like a bodybuilder and train like a powerlifter.